and I actually can see the vocal cords when I look into the patient's airway. In the world of paramedic training, including STARS Air Ambulance, there are simulators, mannequins with heartbeats, with blinking and dilating eyes, which can breathe, and more. This would be an eight-year-old child, but yes. But you also have adult mannequins? We do. We have um, adult mannequins. We also have, we've just purchased some neonatal ma tra training mannequins. Um, so we're looking forward to getting into that kind of patient population. Oh, okay. Yes, we also have a one-year-old as well. So right now his pulse, he's got a great pulse right now. You can see it even bounding. Uh -huh. But it does give us the ability to assess for circulation and things like that as well. Something. Yeah. So it actually generates a heart rhythm that we would have. Simulators make up just a fraction of STARS annual operations expenses, which is funded in part through their lottery, sold out in each of the 21 years STARS has provided injury rescue in Alberta. This is huge for STARS. It raises more than $11 million net, which uh, accumulates over one third of our operating costs for the year. About 76% funded by community and donor uh, contributions. So uh, the Alberta government actually kicks in the rest of the money, but we do fundraisers throughout the year. We have galas, we do community events, uh, our calendar, but our lottery is our big one for the year. Part of it goes to injury trauma training. Paramedics require five years in emergency medicine or intensive care nursing. And there are regular upgrading sessions, often using mannequins. Um, this particular mannequin, you can see him blinking there, but he will talk to you. He has lung sounds and heart sounds and belly sounds that would be similar to a patient. Um, myself, I would be back in the control room, either speaking for the patient and kind of interacting with our, our care providers. That would involve asking if they're oriented, making sure they know where they're at, maybe listening to their lungs, heart and belly to make sure everything's going well. If it's more of a trauma case, then I'd be concerned about any injuries to the head, the neck, and I'd be just making sure there aren't any broken bones or what have you along there. It's also pelvis stability is also a large um, uh, check for uh, gross bleeding and things like that. And we'd apply supplemental oxygen or extra oxygen to the patient and breathe for him if he's not supporting his own breaths as much as he needs to. Calling Dr. Dancy. Yeah. We have a, an uh, airway course that we are teaching internally, which um, is physician-led, and so we certainly uh, instill these concepts and, and reinforce those training concepts in all of our days. If a nurse or a paramedic would establish an IV, we've got it plumbed in through here, and it actually has a drainage bag, so we would be delivering the totally appropriate volumes as well as the same medications, and we'd have a, a, a discussion as to what our treatment goals are. Just an example of STARS training procedures, part of the big picture. To donate, go online to starslottery.ca. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.